Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's Pwn, and I'm still sick, guys. I, I hate being sick. It's like, it's such a burden. I hate doing shit, man, especially when it's messy, too. You know, you're coughing everywhere, and you start vomiting, and then there's diarrhea everywhere. I really hope none of you guys are eating you some fucking Captain Crunch this morning. But, uh, uh, so, so you know what? You know what makes the day better? I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go get some food. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but I'm gonna buy, like, $50 of random fucking munchies. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go rent Grandma's Boy because uh, you know that's that's what I do when I'm sick. I, I laugh. I like to laugh. And if you guys haven't seen Grandma's Boy yet, you guys are fucking slacking. So I'm gonna go watch that. I don't think Amanda's seen it yet. But Karate Kick the Elephant Monkey, and I'm gonna have so much fun. And uh, you know that's the thing too, because because I get sick and I start laughing at dumb shit, and then it just makes me hurt. You know, like even more because you know my throat's killing me, and I'm sitting there laughing. And I'm sitting there, like, eating gobstoppers and shit. And then I'm watching these funny movies like Grandma's Boy and shit. And all of a sudden, I want to adopt a giraffe. So, you know, my days get weird when I'm sick because I can't stand being sick. So I try to, like, counter UAV it with, like, some with some classy-ass fucking humor or, you know. And, and when I'm sick, too, I don't – I can't settle. Like, uh, if you guys do or do not know, I, I've had a lot of health complications. Um, <laughs> and it's – uh. So I've had things from, you know, like like asthma and, you know, heart issues and everything. Uh, I've got a very bad back. I've I've had a lot of little issues, but one that's really really popular and one reason why I can't fly or really swim, I'm not allowed to, is uh due to my ears. I've had I think 13 surgeries total on my ears. And uh yeah, yeah, I know, right? No exaggeration. That's exactly how many I've had. I've had 9 on one and 4 on the other and uh so I've had my fair share of issues with my ears, and, and, and I'd, I'd always go, and, you know, I'd be in there, and they'd be like, hey, uh, Pone, we're about to go put you under, and, you know, I'd always wake up without any pants on. I don't remember or not if I took them off or if the doctor was kind enough to do so, but, uh, you know, that always turns out a good moment, so not only do I wake up with a sore ear, my, my, my anus really hurts, too, so, <laughs> god damn it, it's, it's, it's just like prostitution, man, when you come in there with a copay, you're in trouble, so, uh, Canada's like we don't have to pay for our rape. We've got free health care. I don't know. So um, so anyway, so I'd get in there and, and they they'd put me under. And you know, it's really really common for a lot of people to you know have uh you know illness and then like puke and everything like that. Have a really sensitive stomach and and uh, vagina, whatever excuse they have. And a lot of people you get sick after you know anesthesia and stuff like that. And I was like I was like a badass, you know. Whenever I went to the dentist and no matter whatever they they hooked me up with. And uh, so so I always had a random moment. I remember one in particular because they gave me like three different cups of pills at like five minutes apart. Gave me something else, a Budweiser to wash it down. These guys were like drugging me up like hell. And I I remember getting crazy and I remember getting like just totally out of my mind. And uh, I was like. 13 years old or something, so I was totally sloshed, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And I was watching Rugrats, and I had the extreme case of giggles. I was sitting there watching Rugrats and just murmuring, Chucky. I kept I kept laughing at the little weird fucking dirty redhead child, and I started laughing my ass off at this little ginger baby, and I could not stop laughing until I passed out. And Mom would always love to tell that story at Thanksgiving, so I felt like you guys would enjoy the fact that, you know, I used to watch Rugrats. Rugrats was the shit, okay, guys? Reptar is fucking straight gangster, so... I had a lot of fun doing that stuff, but I used to I used to uh, be that guy that would not get sick over anything like uh like medical or anything like that. So you know I'd come out of getting you know like three molars pulled, and I'd be like, "Yo, let's go to Taco Bell, man. I need me a fucking you know mild sauce and stuff." So they tell you you know you're supposed to only suck on a on a big fat one uh, popsicle. I don't know what you were thinking about, but that's what it used to be. Is you used to be able to relax and you know you had to keep it cool. But no matter what happens, when I'm sick, I have to. I crave things, you know, like like I yesterday I was supposed to get Chipotle when I didn't, and I'm upset about it. So hopefully I can go get Chipotle today because, you know, I don't feel good. That's what I do. I eat weird, hot, spicy shit. Flaming Hot Cheetos yesterday, tacos last night. No matter what it comes down to is is every time I'm sick, I eat the foods that are probably the worst for you guys. So what do you guys honestly do when you're sick? I mean, what are your hobbies? You know, I like to laugh and giggle even though it hurts me. Same thing with the food. I'm, in, I'm intentionally hurting myself, but in the same time, it's making me feel better. I don't know if I'm like like a man, like I'm going to take an airsoft gun and shoot myself in the eye. Like, I can take it kind of thing. But, uh, you know, that's what it came down to. So uh, there's my little illness stories for you guys. So let me know if you guys have any weird habits when you're sick or what you guys like to do. So uh, get back to me, guys. Do me a favor and like up the video. It really helps out a lot. Look forward to another one later on tonight, guys. Get it.